Hi guys and welcome back in this video. Uh, how you can see we have this huge box. We have inside a 3D printer uh, from Dremel. Uh, so we will do the unboxing. Uh, I will do. I will explain you the characteristics of this printer, and uh, we will do a test print for in this video. And in the next video, I will uh, show you how with a we can say cheaper 3D printer than the other I'm using now. Uh, you can build anyway uh, huge props if are designed in the proper way. So let's go uh, open this box and check the printer. Okay, we can uh, open the package. I already cut the tape was around the, the box, so we can slide this on the top. And how uh, you can see is well packaged. It doesn't have damage during the transportation. And uh, we can remove these parts. And here is the printer. One thing I really like is real clothes. I mean, on the side you have a uh, small cut, but on the top is clothes. Uh, you can put and remove this top part, so you have less problem when you are printing. And now we can turn on the printer and see like all the characteristics. But inside you can find like the build plate, cable. Oh, this is a uh, you will need it to remove the print from the build plate and the cable for the alimentation. And inside I have a spool. Uh, now it's locked inside, so I will show you after. A uh, spool of white, and pretty much if this is the printer. Now I will turn on and explain all the characteristics. This is the printer just open and turn on, uh, and uh, it's quite bright. I mean, you have really nice LED on the top, how you can see. And uh, so, if you want that, do like time lapse, is I think it would be really nice to see. And uh, this is the screen touch. Uh, you can see you can move and uh, it's really responsibly and maybe a bit slow when you change page but I mean it's, it's not a phone is a screen of a 3d printer on the side you have uh, the plug to put the cable uh, the USB cable and uh, here you can put the SD card to load the, the model on the printer and uh, I was saying before this is the spool, something characteristic we can say of this printer, you have inside the printer you can put the spool, one on the left and if you want store another one you can put on the right and on the top we can see the extruder is already installed, you don't, you don't need to do too much, I mean when you open the box you are already ready to do the first print. Uh, regarding the build plate the sides is the side is uh, 230, uh, 150, and the eight maximum height is uh, 140 millimeter. So it's pretty good. I mean, uh, I think I will be able to do quite cool, cool stuff. I have already in mind some model I can design and print in this printer. So I will load the filaments, check is extruding, everything's work well, and then uh, we will move to the computer and um, uh, install the software. Dreamel uh, you can download from the website, and they have on the website some model too. So we will download a model from the website, it's, uh, install the software, slice the model, and do a test print. So we insert the spool in the printer and we lock in position and be sure it can still rotate and uh, it doesn't move too much. After we take the filaments and insert in this guideline, white guideline, uh, and then we pull the filaments. And we move to the screen, press filaments, press load, and waiting for the extruder to heat up then it will do this sound when it's ready 
So we press next and insert the filaments in the extruder and just wait to see the filaments come out from the extruder. And pretty much it's done. It's quite easy and if you follow the instruction on the screen it will be really easy. Then we press tool and the level and we level the platform. Uh, I use like really easily a piece of paper and I just screw and screw the little screw under the build plate and check if the build plate is well level or if it's not I just fix the screw and find the right position. And now it's time to download the software from the website. I will leave you the website in, uh, in the description and download the software you need for your system and install it. After you install the software, we move uh, on under the models, always in the website, and we go and search for the T-Rex head and uh, I start by uh, time to print and I was searching the head of the T-Rex and when you find the, the model you need you just press on it and download the model it's really really easily then we move in the software Dremel 3D and we upload the, the model we just download from the website and um, we can move the object, uh, rotate how we want so uh, I rotate the model to be uh, see better in the time lapse and then I center in the platform just to be sure and um, then I press the bottom build and I change the setting like the infill uh, or like the layer height I put 0 0.15 and I think the first layer was 0 0.2 and then you press OK and saving your SD card and uh, uh, take the SD card from your PC and insert in the printer and pretty much is done. So now we go to press build button and uh, the SD card and choose the model, the T-Rex head and just press again build and the printer will start to print. just finished to print this T-Rex head uh, you... so I put the time-lapse of the T-Rex printing uh, I saw some picture from the time-lapse I think I need to regulate uh, better uh, the position of the camera but I think this is enough to show you how it was working the printer and the quality seems quite impressive to be honest uh, just here uh, you will see now appear like a video uh, in the mouth you have uh, a bit of string but maybe with better uh, improved setting it can help it, this one uh, was just the fourth print uh, so we got to remove it uh, this from the build plate okay so with the removal object provided by Dremel we will go to remove the object from the build plate just tapping like on the, each side and uh, it will be removed, I think, quite easily. Uh, seems it's really difficult to remove for the build plate, it is really well attached and can be a nice thing. I mean, it mean it was printing uh, really well on the build plate, so I will try with these other tools and see if it come out easily. This one is really more rigid than the tools that Dremel provide and it was a lot easier to remove the object from the build plate. Uh, okay, I finished to clean the head of the T-Rex and it was a quick job. I show you like here uh, some picture and uh, I'm really impressed. I mean, 
it was printing 0 0.15 uh, but the quality is really really nice I and I can't wait to see other projects done with this machine so I let you in the description uh, the link to if you want buy this machine is like around 850 pounds uh, so I, I think it's around 1000 euro I'm not sure something like that I will put anyway all the link in the description I will put of course the link of Dremel so you can go on Dremel if you want to register and download the file uh, then you will use it in your 3D printer uh, I hope you like it uh, if you like it put a thumbs up and be ready because I have a lot of new project and video it will come soon really soon so one probably some one it will come after one or two days when I will publish this one uh, so see in the next video Bye guys. Rolling. Rolling. <laughs> uh.